Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day because I have a fantastic video for you. In this video, I'm going to take you on a journey through the 10 best places to live in Alabama and you're going to love it. I've been living in Alabama for more than 10 years and I've traveled all over the state. I know what makes each place unique and awesome and I'm going to share with you some cool and interesting information that will make you want to pack your bags and move to Alabama right now. What's up, everybody? I am your host, Shuan, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Best Books. So, if you're ready, let's get started with the countdown of the 10 best places to live in Alabama. Number 10. Fairhope. Fairhope is a charming town on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay. It has a population of about 22,000 people, and it's known for its artistic community, historic downtown, and scenic waterfront. Fairhope was founded as a utopian colony in 1894 by a group of people who believed in fair hope of success. Today, it still retains its unique character and charm. Fairhope has a low crime rate, a high quality of life, and a mild climate. The average house price in Fairhope is $329,000 and the average salary is $55,000. Fairhope also has some of the best public schools in the state, with an A-plus rating from Niche.com. One of the things I love about Fairhope is its annual Arts and Crafts Festival, which attracts thousands of visitors every March. The festival showcases the works of over 200 artists from across the country, and it also features live music, food vendors, and children's activities. It's a great way to experience the culture and beauty of Fairhope. Number 9. Madison Madison is a suburb of Huntsville, located in northern Alabama, it has a population of about 55,000 people, and it's one of the fastest-growing cities in the state. Madison is home to many engineers and professionals who work in the nearby aerospace and defense industries. It's also a family-friendly city with excellent schools, parks, and recreation facilities. Madison has a low cost of living, a low unemployment rate, and a high median income. The average house price in Madison is $265,000, and the average salary is $92,000. Madison also has an A-plus rating for public schools from Niche.com. One of the things I like about Madison is its proximity to Huntsville, which is known as the Rocket City for its role in the space program. Huntsville has many attractions for science and history lovers, such as the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, the Huntsville Botanical Garden, and the Alabama Constitution Village. Number 8. Trustville. Trussville is a suburb of Birmingham, located in central Alabama. It has a population of about 22,000 people, and it's one of the most affluent cities in the state. Trussville was named after a railroad engineer who built a bridge over the Cahaba River in 1863. Today, it's a modern city with a historic charm. Trussville has a low crime rate, a high median income, and a high homeownership rate. The average house price in Trussville is $300,000 and the average salary is $83,000. Trussville also has an A rating for public schools from Niche.com. One of the things I enjoy about Trussville is its downtown area, which has been revitalized with new shops, restaurants, and entertainment venues. Trussville also has many outdoor activities to offer, such as hiking trails, golf courses, and fishing spots. Number 7. Alabaster. Alabaster is a suburb of Birmingham, located in central Alabama. It has a population of about 34,000 people, and it's one of the most diverse cities in the state. Alabaster was named after the white mineral that was mined in the area in the early 1900s. Today, it's a thriving city with a strong economy and a friendly community. Alabaster has a low cost of living, a low unemployment rate, and a high median income. The average house price in Alabaster is $215,000 and the average salary is $72,000. Alabaster also has an A rating for public schools from Niche.com. One of the things I appreciate about Alabaster is its variety of events and festivals throughout the year, such as the City Fest, the Fall Fest, and the Christmas Parade. Alabaster also has many amenities and attractions for residents and visitors, such as the Veterans Park, the Buck Creek Trail, and the Colonial Promenade Shopping Center. Number 6. Homewood. 
Homewood is a suburb of Birmingham, located in central Alabama. It has a population of about 26,000 people, and it's one of the most lightable cities in the state. Homewood was founded in 1926 as a residential community for Birmingham workers. Today, it's a vibrant city with a rich culture and a progressive spirit. Homewood has a low crime rate, a high quality of life, and a mild climate. The average house price in Homewood is $390,000, and the average salary is $64,000. Homewood also has an A-plus rating for public schools from niche.com. One of the things I love about Homewood is its artistic community, which supports local artists and musicians through events and venues such as Artwalk, Art in the Park, and the Exceptional Foundation. Homewood also has a historic downtown area that offers many shops, restaurants, and entertainment options. Number 5. Daphne. Daphne is a town on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay. It has a population of about 26,000 people, and it's one of the oldest cities in the state. Daphne was settled by French colonists in 1763 as part of New France. Today, it's a charming town with a coastal flair. Daphne has a low cost of living, a low unemployment rate, and a high median income. The average house price in Daphne is $240,000, and the average salary is $63,000. Daphne also has an A rating for public schools from niche.com. One of the things I like about Daphne is its location on Mobile Bay, which offers stunning views and access to water activities, such as boating, fishing, and kayaking. Daphne also has many parks and trails to enjoy nature and wildlife, such as Village Point Park Preserve, Bayfront Park, and Gator Alley Boardwalk. Number 4. Hoover. Hoover is a suburb of Birmingham, located in central Alabama. It has a population of about 86,000 people, and it's one of the largest cities in the state. Hoover was incorporated in 1967 as a planned community for residential and commercial development. Today, it's a dynamic city with a diverse population and a booming economy. Hoover has a low cost of living, a low unemployment rate, and a high median income. The average house price in Hoover is $290,000, and the average salary is $81,000. Hoover also has an A rating for public schools from niche.com. One of the things I admire about Hoover is its variety of attractions and amenities for all ages and interests, such as the Riverchase Galleria, the largest shopping mall in Alabama, the Aldridge Gardens, a 30-acre botanical garden, and the Hoover Metropolitan Stadium, a multi-purpose sports venue. Number 3. Pelham. Pelham is a suburb of Birmingham, located in central Alabama. It has a population of about 23,000 people, and it's one of the safest cities in the state. Pelham was named after a Civil War officer who fought for the Confederate Army. Today, it's a friendly city with a strong sense of community. Pelham has a low cost of living, a low unemployment rate, and a high median income. The average house price in Pelham is $220,000, and the average salary is $69,000. Pelham also has an A rating for public schools from niche.com. One of the things I enjoy about Pelham is its proximity to nature and outdoor recreation opportunities, such as Oak Mountain State Park, the largest state park in Alabama, Ballantrae Golf Club, a public golf course, and Pelham Civic Complex and Ice Arena, a facility that offers ice skating and hockey. Number 2. Vestavia Hills Vestavia Hills is a suburb of Birmingham, located in central Alabama. It has a population of about 35,000 people and it's one of the most affluent cities in the state. Vestavia Hills was founded in 1950 as an upscale residential community. Today, it's a prestigious city with a high standard of living. Vestavia Hills has a low crime rate, a high quality of life, and a mild climate. The average house price in Vestavia Hills is $420,000, and the average salary is $97,000. Vestavia Hills also has an A-plus rating for public schools from niche.com. One of the things I appreciate about Vestavia Hills is its culture and education opportunities, such as the Library in the Forest, a modern library that overlooks a natural preserve. The Vestavia Hills High School Rebel Marching Band, one of the best high school bands in the nation, and the Vestavia Hills Art Association, an organization that promotes local artists. 
Number 1. Mountain Brook Mountain Brook is a suburb of Birmingham, located in central Alabama. It has a population of about 21,000 people, and it's the best place to live in Alabama, according to Niche.com. Mountain Brook was established in 1942 as a planned community inspired by English villages. Today, it's an elegant city with a historic charm. Mountain Brook has a low crime rate, a high quality of life, and a mild climate. The average house price in Mountain Brook is $750,000, and the average salary is $130,000. Mountain Brook also has an A-plus rating for public schools from Niche.com. One of the things I love about Mountain Brook is its scenic beauty and architecture, which features stone bridges, winding roads, and Tudor-style homes. Mountain Brook also has a vibrant downtown area that offers many shops, restaurants, and entertainment options. That's it for this video. I hope you had fun exploring the 10 best places to live in Alabama with me. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And if you liked this video, please show some love and smash that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, if you haven't seen my previous video, where I showed you the 10 best places to live in Virginia, you should definitely check it out. It's right here on the screen or in the description box below. You might be surprised by some of the places I picked. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.